team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Florida Gators and the Baylor Bears. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Bears know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. First of all, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Second, be monsters on the board. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. And finally, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Now they work it around the perimeter. They look to get it to the inside for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really good. A great job packing it in. And a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The small forward receives the pass. He attempts the trifecta. Questionable shot selection there. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He fouled him. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Controlling the ball. There he is. Puts the ball loose. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Got the high pick. The shooting guard receives the ball. He takes the shot from the baseline. He drains the bucket. Trying to go inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He fires from long range. Number 33 was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Doesn't go. There's a high screen. Florida and put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Dumps it in. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He takes the shot off the baseline, way off target. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Post flasher is open. He shoots from the top of the key. It's good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He looks for the bomb. Drains the shot. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. 
It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. Alley -oop. puts it up, looking for contact. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. And working around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Number 34 is animated and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. He's got a high post flasher. 10 seconds to put up a shot. Kicks it out. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He takes the three. Goes. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Trying to feed inside. Number 33 steals the ball. Here they come trying to run again. My goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. They've left him completely alone. Way off target. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Got an open look if he wants it. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact. And Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He shoots from right of the circle. He's got the stroke. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Hold on, let's see that again. for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. And off the mark. The power forward handles the feed. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gave it up. The shot from the baseline. Tickles a twine. the dribble gives it up and now they'll bring it up they say forget about it and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over
Number 15 handles the pass. Up fake. Turnaround jumper. Way off target. He gets the rejection. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two, they still don't score. He gets it to go. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. Moving it around the perimeter. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Spacing. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. Number zero makes the shot. On the outside. Picked off. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nessler. Number 15 draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Both teams looking to get things going here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Up it inside. High post screen and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. He gets that one to fall. High post screen, gonna use it. Trying to draw the foul. In and out. He shoots from the angle, drains it. That's a seven nothing run. Gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Doesn't go.
Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And he'll kick it back outside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dump it inside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. The skip pass is picked off. Top of the circle. Florida are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They work the perimeter. There's the fake. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Picked out of the air. He gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. He wants a three. He hits it. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He rejects it. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. He lets it go. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Pump fakes. He uses the shot fake. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to go. The Bears have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He launches a three. They are red hot from behind the Arctic. They're rolling at all cylinders right now. Kick it back outside. Stolen away. He makes the block with a great block. Way off target. Leans in. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. 
Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Look at a Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Attempts the three. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. <laughs> On the inside. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. <laughs> How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He can't buy one. Good rebound. Great position on a rebound. Good block out. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. For the bucket, he shows the sweet touch. Gave it up. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Off the rim and no good. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Number five. Checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. Number zero goes to the line, shooting two. First shot is good. No good. Goes and gets it. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Opportunity for two for one. They're working around the arc. Tries for two. He seems determined to take the tough shot. Well, they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Moving it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Got a nice screen. Looking for the foul. The Gators have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. That was nice. At the half, the Gators are up by one. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Baylor collected very few rebounds out there, Mr. Vitale. Is it a lack of aggression, you think? Hey, if they're lacking aggression, that would mean they had some to begin with. I saw no aggressiveness towards rebounding in the first half. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. The Bears have a three-point shooter spotting up. He throws it up from downtown. 
And he can't hit the shot. And he'll kick it back outside for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Look at that spacing. Takes the pass in the paint for two and off the mark. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Got a man in high post. In the paint for the bucket. He nails the bucket. That's a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puff fakes. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the baseline. Goes in. Looking for a good shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He unloads a three. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Jumps into the defender. He can't get the hoop to fall. And he'll kick it back outside. And they get the turnover. Here they come now on a turnover. For two. Up. Easy one. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Jump hook from the low post. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Makes the block. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He missed. The power forward gets the ball. Thinks about the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. <laughs> Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries for two. The lay -in. Working around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He dials long distance, knocks it down. Number. 
Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Picked out of the air. They work the perimeter. Hard foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes it. He misses his second shot. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He gets it to go. Moving it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. And he missed. They go inside and now back outside. Great block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. You've got that right, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from left of the circle. And he misses the shot. He gets it to fall. The Gators are down by four. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're anticipating, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Sets the screen for his teammate. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Baylor are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Up and inside. Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He strips him clean. Finger roll. That's a 10-zip run. We're ready to get back to the action. Tries to get the D to bite. There they come with a double team to stop it. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Buries it. Accepted. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Rims out. He took the contact and threw it down with authority. He did business on that dumb grab. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He can't buy one. 
The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. for the steal down low and he didn't and that bucket's gonna count plus one a big time in one baby he goes to the line he missed it and that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight Dick yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, terrific job on a defense. The people in the spot, Mr. Nestler. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. My dad did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Looks at a three. It sticks. He's got some room from left of the circle, way off target. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Off the rim and no good. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Who you want shooting the three? Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. He shoots from left of the circle. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. For two. with the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. A high screen on the outside. Up fake. Number 14 with the foul. Third team foul. First half, both clubs shooting well, rebounding well, hitting their free throws, not turning it over. And in the second half, that hasn't been the story for that one club anyway. Well, I think what happened at halftime, he really convinced his kids about really increasing the energy on the defensive side. Their energy is so much better. Look at that spacing. Fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a double team waiting there. He goes for three. Way off target. A 
double team. He gets the rejection. He quickly brings it up the floor for the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Goes up for two. That's an eight zip run. There's the trap. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. The power forward takes the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. the pass. Pushes it up. Nice high post screen. Foul charge. He blows the inside hoop off that set screen. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. First one is no good. Makes the second. Florida are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He shoots from long range. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Working it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Up and inside. Gets it back out. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Number 20. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. Goes to the line for the first time. He misses it. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Tries for two. Got it. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Up and inside. Kicks it out. Got some room. He attempts the trifecta. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Steals the pass. Here they go into transition. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Back on the look at that play. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Takes away the pass. 
The shooting guard gets the pass. For two. Two with a lay-in. Takes the shot. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. For the deuce. Doesn't go. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Ten on the shot clock. He lets it go. He nails the bucket. Great defense. The point guard takes the feed. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He misses it. move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn he launches the bomb Florida are on a bit of a run let's see how long they can keep it on Brad gets it back out a little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Goes up for two. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. They work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. From left to the circle, he gets that one to fall. Good defensive pressure. Head right on a ball, drive him to the spot you like to take him and then beat him. And the ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. to the circle. They need to foul here. Now they work it around the perimeter. Almost lost a basketball. Looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them down. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. 
And they continue to foul to stop the clock. There's the turnover situation for the half dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. He hits the second shot. They need to score here to turn this into a two possession game. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the steam's changed somewhat. Shot clock is dead. He unloads a three. Rims out. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Makes the second shot. Steal. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the shot. Sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Bears is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.